Hey guys, it's Kurt from Maya Music. Uh, we're doing a real quick video here for some folks over on SynthZone. Uh, trying to hook up an A800 controller from Roland to a uh, Keytron. Hopefully you can see it there in the background, a Keytron SD90. Um, so we went ahead and uh, we happened to have one of those and, and we pulled it out of the closet because quite honestly we, we weren't using this controller. But uh, we hooked it up real quick. Uh, I took a couple of screenshots or a couple of pictures we'll show you here. We went from um, uh, MIDI out of the Roland into MIDI in 2. Uh, MIDI in 2 because there's an in 1 and an in 2. We want to use in 2 because we're using the uh, arranger side of the uh, SD90. And so sure enough, um, we've got uh, right hand and then it automatically split us for it. Our split point is set at F2. Watch this. And you can tell that's where the uh, split point is. And if I reach over here, I'm going to hit uh, K start and uh, we'll just play a little something. Okay, so um, we didn't really change anything on the uh, A800. Um, I guess I'll go back and verify. I don't have some custom mapping in it, but I certainly have never mapped it for the Keytron, that's for sure. A um, couple things I'll also point out is uh, Slider 9 up here is uh, actually working as a volume control, which is kind of handy. Uh, and then over here, uh, oops, sorry, if you're in... Uh, over here you can uh, spin this knob on the keyboard and you can set it to do various things. If you spin it to program change, um, it is uh, sending the program change commands over to the Keytron and uh, we are scrolling up all the voices that are in bank A right now. So again, I'll, I'll show you the settings on the Keytron here in a second, but it's basically out of the box, a standard MIDI map. Um, and uh, everything is working as expected. So from the front panel of your SD90, hit Menu, and then select Play Mode, and then select Master. Now let's pick the MIDI selection of Standard, and then look down in the lower left, there's something called GM Part and Arranger Keyboard. This is the GM Part, uh, the Receive Channels 1 through 16 are on. And then this is the Arranger keyboard, uh, again receive, and notice that MIDI channel 1 is set to global. That's important because that's where we're really plugged in. Remember we plugged the MIDI cable in to N2, it says key B on the back of the unit, but that's Arranger keyboard MIDI N2. So um, again this was just a real quick uh, so you could see it in action. And I'll, I'll follow up with folks on SynthZone and, and hopefully we can help them out and get them up and running. As always, thanks for watching. Brace.